Let's start off looking at the webinar aims. Now, we're going to think about why we use a written format in practice and the purpose of the document that you're using. We're going to look at the importance of accuracy and in particular, all the way through the session, we're going to be talking about proofreading. We'll also focus on some basic grammatical skills. So we'll think about spelling, punctuation. We'll look at some grammar rules like capital letters, pronouns, commas, colons and semicolons, and the use of apostrophes. We'll also talk about structure, including clarity and the use of headings. And then we'll finish up thinking about some common mistakes. In particular, thinking about common mistakes in professional practice. So ambiguity, use of the passive voice, redundant words and when and when you shouldn't be using contractions. So headings and subheadings are appropriate for anything that's complex or lengthy. If you're only writing a short letter or a short email with one subject, then subheadings aren't going to be relevant. But the idea behind headings and subheadings is that they are signposts to what is included below it. And it's really common to have a random heading and then you might draft something more than once. And then over time, the heading stays where it is, but actually the subject matter's changed. So when you're doing your reading for sense, also stop and think, is the heading or the subheading actually relevant to the matters being discussed? Now, I mentioned earlier when you're doing your proofreading to check for any ambiguity. And one of the most common ambiguities that we often see in practice is in relation to timing and dates. So when you're reading something, think about, can I tell by the use of those wordings exactly what time period is being referred to? So if someone says, by one o'clock, that's not specific enough. Is it at one o'clock or by the 1st of January? Or is it on or before the 1st of January, if the date needs to be inclusive? Or is it before the 1st of January, if the date is exclusive? So do you want it done by the 31st of December? So by isn't specific enough. 